The season. This is all season. Yeah. Jack, what are you getting? I'm very excited. Uh, I don't know yet. I do think it's really plain. I do like plain donuts. Mm. Um, but sometimes I could be tempted to like a custard one. <laughs> Which one are you going to guess? Hmm. There's even vegan donuts here. Oh my god, look, Jack. Vegan uh, biscoff. Look at these stalls. That's the lovely uh, lemons and lime. I know. Shout out to Kapora. We haven't got into the jam yet. I have to say. See? Oh, it's come. I got to squeeze it. Go on, give it a squeeze. Whoa! <laughs> wow, it's a beautiful, beautiful um, Sunday. And we have just popped down to Victoria Park Markets. But as I like to say, this is the posh side of Victoria Park. And there's a big field side as well where they do yeah. like all points east and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, got a coffee in hand. Very From strong. Wake the Dead coffee. Yeah, we're really it's nice. Yeah, we're really we're wake the dead and one enormous jam donut. Donut for Jack. But what's the story with charging extra for oat milk? I don't really get it. Like a lot of places nowadays are just charging 40p extra. It's just not fair. <laughs> Especially for lactose intolerant people. I think it's a joke, like, but I, I guess oat milk is really expensive. So. I know. In the fairness, like it is a choice that I don't drink milk. But like, if you're lactose intolerant, it's just not fair, is it? Really, no. I think we need a few cheaper oat alternatives. So, yeah, oatly, bring your prices down. Oatly, bring your prices down. And there's also uh, oat milk that is made in Hackney, which is close to here, and it is called. Is it Minor Figures? Minor Figures, and it has no preservatives in it, so we're trying to support them lately. Yep, and luckily for us, um, Tesco are doing a big deal on Minor Figures with Club Cat Holders, so Correct. it's actually cheaper. Anyway, it's probably not fun information. But, yeah. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, we're down in Victoria Park. The leaves are beginning to fall from the trees and the trees are changing colour. So there you go. It's proper, proper autumn day. And as Blindbo would say, it's a queer light, isn't it? Is that what he'd say? <laughs> yeah, it's like the sun is leaning against the wall like a broken lamp, yeah. casting a queer, queer light, light on us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've just passed a... Um, I guess it was an exhibition or something, maybe, I don't know, what would you call it? Uh, an installation. An installation. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> word for it. So there was about 100 plates laid out on the floor uh, and this whole display was to raise awareness for poverty in the UK. And it said there was over 7 million people who will go hungry in the UK this year. So that's a lot. That's, dub that's almost double the population of Ireland. Uh, so we're going to include this in the vlog to raise awareness. Um, and yeah, if you want to look it up on Instagram, it's called Enough is Enough. Is enough. So try and wear, raise awareness ourselves. But yeah, a good, good cause and a, nice good, idea. a great visual, display. Um, visual aid to kind of yeah. imagine how many people would or are going to go hungry in, in, in the UK. But it's really shocking. You wouldn't think about it every day, would you? That's a lot of fun. Very long. There. That's a good interesting story about trying to run the boat to the canal. Yeah. Watch out, Jack. <laughs> the busy Hackney canals. Okay. So random. Why have we just discovered? It's a game middle of London. <laughs> honestly, one of the stupidest decisions ever, but I love it. Yeah, we've just discovered this little petting farm in the middle of London. It's literally it's in Hagerston. Um, and we're just wandering around and look what we found. Look at all these little ducks. Butters. It's 
He has just found his first mushroom of the season. He's going to identify it now. What's it going to be, Jack, do you think? I have no idea. Um, you should know these things. I've been out of practice for over two years. Please bear with me. Jeremy Loading up. Cancel. Otre bracket. We found another one. Look, Jack. That's a sick one as well. Whoa. Mushroom Man UK is in his element. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm better actually at finding them today. No, you're not. I'm the best. If you didn't know, Jack has a mushroom page on Instagram called Mushroom Man UK, linked in the bio. <laughs> and he finds rare mushrooms from all around the UK. Very rare, toxic mushrooms. Um, and I see more there. I did as well. I spotted them way before. It came. There's loads! Oh my, oh my god! They're all going to be the same breed though. Yeah, this is all the same. That's okay though. This is just like a. My goodness let me just clean this lens excuse me <laughs> oh my god that is my new favorite brunch spot by far ozone you've got to check it out i would agree i think that is one of the best places i've eaten the full stop it's so good it's actually um you want to tell the history jack's been polishing up uh, on his ozone history i have so it's set up in new zealand um, and a lot of the food is inspired by kind of classic breakfast and lunch um, dishes in New Zealand. Um, so yeah, the owner, as we suspected, is a Kiwi and a lot of the staff are also Kiwis. Um, and it's been set up here in East London for six or seven years. Correct, and they have one in Shoreditch as well, a little, yes. little shop in Shoreditch. Um, but yeah, it was so delicious and the staff are lovely. I actually haven't been treated so well in a while, like from, from staff. I really agree actually, the staff were mm. brilliant. I'm taking a slight detour here, this, this is the oval space. Um, cool. Down here, but yeah. I give it like a nine. I take one mark off because as I often goes, when food is delicious and the flavourings are so full, uh, the portions are slightly smaller. True. I give it 10 out of 10, even though my portion was a little bit smaller. We're going this way. Huh? We're going to the way. Wrong way. We're going to bring all of our London friends to Ozone because you, you guys need to experience it. And also if we have visitors coming over, we're going to also bring you to Ozone. So expect to be brought there very soon. My hair is so long, I need a haircut. No, it's mine. We're going to a new secret place. I love it this weekend, so stay tuned. It's a little hidden street market off the beaten track. What's that, Tony? It's called Mare Street Market. No. Oh, is it not? It's, not, I keep getting it's mixed called Maltby Market. Oh, sorry. Mal they sound similar. Maybe. It's called Maltby Market, so we're bringing Taz. There he is. There he is. <laughs> now, Taz knows a good market when he sees one. Um, so, he'll be the judge of whether this is any good or not. And it's been rated the best pizza in all of London by Thanks. Top Jaw, um, the food critics on YouTube. Me and Chloe will be king. Is this the big 
exciting. It is. I might get the hat.